Oh, yeah. The, God, the, the idea that someone has scrolled through my entire Instagram is haunting to me. Hello, it's you, and this is me, Reese Nicholson, judge on RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under, and today I'm being forced to look at some pictures from my Instagram. Oh, God. Yeah. Remember when Instagram was about filters? We were all obsessed with filters. It was like we were trying to fill the void that MySpace had left us. And that picture, that's the first ever blazer that I ever bought. It did not fit well. Early on in your career as a comedian, no one's followed. I've probably had like 200 followers or something and most of them were family members and bots. So that's what that picture says to me, Jesus. Um, that picture, I was 19, I was at a family barbecue, I was living in Sydney at the time, I'd gone back to my hometown in Newcastle, I was hungover, and I just felt really like, ugh, and I'm kind of like, sultry, and you know, I had some kind of body issues, and now I look at it, and I am so hot. Like, to look at it now, and think that no one would want to have a relationship with me, or any kind, any kind of relationship, is wild. Like, if you think you're unattractive, you're not. Get out there, get yourself some, because you probably look like this. And one day, you're gonna look like this. Oh yeah. That picture is the night I met my, he's gonna be my husband next month. It was Zan Rowe, her 33rd birthday. And the theme of the party was come as your favorite album. And I'm not very good at music knowledge, and so I came as a greatest hits album. Black Eye, I had a big wound on my chest, I had boxing gloves. And I met the love of my life that night. I mean, we'll see. He was not in a costume at all, and that is a perfect metaphor for our relationship that he was in non costume and I was overdone and looked insane. It's very funny to me that he met that person and was like, yep, let's spend 12 years together at least. Yeah, that's my partner, Kyron Wheatley, my fiance. We like each other. We got together very quickly in classic Sydney, mid 2000s real estate form. We started dating, we'd been together for a couple months. My share house fell through. I needed somewhere to live. We moved in together, and that was 15, almost 15 years ago. <laughs> and I remember thinking at the time, if a friend of mine said, oh, I'm moving in with someone I've been dating for two months, I'd be like, you're insane. That's gonna, that's gonna burn down. But no, it worked out, and he puts up with a lot. That guy's got a lot of staying power. Well done, Kyron. You stuck to your guns, and I'm sorry about everything. Oh, that's my dad. That's my dad, Conan O'Brien. I got asked to open for Conan O'Brien on his Australian tour. And then I went to LA and I did his TV show. And he's one of the greatest and nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. If ever I was to, you know, dream like scenario be as successful as him, I would hope. Because he delivers. He delivers on what, he, what his image promises. <laughs> that was a while I went through a period of, for people's birthdays, I would send them a picture of my face photoshopped onto, often veering on pornographic images and be like, happy birthday, and it'd be my face on like, that's the cleanest one that exists. I sent some real dirty stuff. If people were to scroll through their phone history in our conversations, I would be, and go back five, six years, I would be canceled in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, I love to look very old. I want to look elderly. I would love to get some work done. So by the time I'm like 38, I look like 82. And so when people get really shocked to see, it's like, wow, Reese has been in comedy for a long time. I was in a TV show last year called The Imperfect, where I played an evil doctor. And at one point I had to be in full head prosthetics and they had a huge corkboard covered in every single image of myself with the old age thing filter on and that was what they used to build the faith. And then I got to look in the mirror and see it live. Terrifying. That's my buddy, Michelle Visage. When I first got the job on Drag Race, I was terrified. And Michelle's been doing it for a while, and she just really looked after me, and continues to be, and is just one of those people that you meet in this industry that has done everything, and is still so ambitious and hungry to keep going. She's so trained and warm and open and just excited to work every day. She's a real workhorse. And it's really inspiring to see that at no point has Michelle stopped working. And so by the time when they're given this moment, they are completely ready. And that's 
really exciting and makes me want to never stop working. Sorry to my friends and family, but my work is more important. <laughs>